Hello everyone, we will continue the topic update function module and in the previous video we covered yes for the update function module the processing type is update module yes what is the syntax to call a update function module we have to use the keyword in update task with the name of the function module yes whenever you are calling a update function module it will not trigger immediately yes it will run or it will execute in a special work process that is called as update work process and at what time your function module update function module will be assigned to update work process after the commit work statement only whenever you have the commit work after that only your update function module will be assigned to update work process now what we will do i added the line in the first slide itself to for the purpose of update function module firstly we will tick down more and then i will come on to the purpose so that you will understand automatically answer will come automatically why why sap provided the concept of update function module so what i will do i will put a breakpoint into this program so i am putting a breakpoint breakpoint is already there into this particular program I will run this particular program. Whenever I will run this program, see, I am doing a work, I am doing a task. So it means system will assign this to available work process. If you want more knowledge on work process, you can refer the playlist of basics of SAP and ABAP. You will learn at that point of time. You can refer those videos. Whenever we are doing any task, Whenever you are doing any work, it will be assigned to the work process. Yes, that particular task which you are doing is handled by a work process. Suppose I am passing sales document number one. So I am running this particular program. I am doing a specific work. I am doing a task. So it means this particular work will be assigned to available work process now now in sap whenever you want to see the work process you can simply check through sm50 transaction code do not do anything with this transaction code as it is very critical transaction code majorly majorly handled by sap basis person only but you can check the status suppose I am running this particular program. It means this program is assigned to the available work process. This particular work or task is assigned to the work process. Suppose if you see, I'm able to see a work process. So this work process, this program, this is my program, Z update underscore debugging. Yes, it is assigned to the work process and you can see the status is debugging as of now and this program is on hold as of now. Yes, because I kept this program in debugging mode. As of now, I'm talking about work process. I'm not talking about update work process. So this program is assigned to the first available work process. Now, now I am doing F5. Whenever I will do F5, this particular function module will not execute because this function module is your update function module. This update function module will be run through or will be executing update work process. It will not execute at this point of time. I am doing F5. You can see this function module did not execute. And now when the commit work will execute, after then the commit work will execute, this update function module will be assigned to update work process. 
Now I will cover one of the most important transaction code and in the projects you will see the status of update function module or update request through which transaction code SM13, SM13. Now if I will show you SM13 as of now, you can see SM13. If I will execute this, as of now, you can see I'm able to see blank because update work process has not started yet. Once the commit work will execute, after that only this update function module will be assigned to the update work process. And you can see this transaction code is for update request only. Now suppose I am doing commit work. Now you can see when I did the commit work, yes, I put, I enabled the update debugging, yes. And now I entered into the update function module. So this update function module is assigned to update work process now. If I will show you now SM13, if I will refresh, you can see we are able to see a update request. Now you can check this. If I will click on to module, it will give the name of the update function module also. If I will click here, you can see we are getting the name of the function module Z update underscore table. This is the name of your update function module. So this will give you more, more clarity. Yes. Previously, we do not have a update work process in SM13. Our update function module is not assigned to the update work process. Whenever commit work executes after that, this function module is assigned to the update work process and we are able to see in SM13. Now, do not confuse that. Will it not be visible in SM50 transaction code? SM50 is for each and every work process. You can see in SM50, we are able to see this is the function group of the function module. In SM50, you can see all work processes, but your all update requests will be in SM13 transaction code. Now we will move further. Now I will simply, simply execute. And now we will understand the purpose of this particular function module. We understand fully what, how we are creating a update function module syntax. It will not execute immediately. It will trigger after commit work statement. Once the commit work execute, update function module will be assigned to update work process and we can check in SM13 transaction code. But the question comes, why, why we have a concept of update function module? We will understand here itself. See, I'm going to this program. Suppose this program has 5,000 lines of code. The program will execute 5,000 lines of code. And I have a suppose update function module. But update function module will not trigger at that point of time. Once your commit work execute, the control will come to update function module. And whatever the logic is written in the update function module, it will trigger after that only. Just think, it is triggering at the last. We can control at the last. We can do everything. And at the last, whatever we have written in the update function module, it will trigger. So word itself is saying, update function module. It means it will update everything together. Word itself is saying the update function module commit all the changes together or roll back them all. This is a real, real world and SAP used this at so many places. Suppose I will go for simple example. 
you are creating a sales order you are creating a sales order at that time so many tables are updating suppose we have a table vbak vbap we have uvb uk vbkd so just think will sap is updating one 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 table no this is not what sap is doing sap will execute the logic if everything is perfectly fine sap will write the logic in the update function module to update all the database table together if there is any problem commit work will not execute if commit work will not execute none of the table will get update this is how the real world should work it should not be the case that two tables updated and 10 tables do not updated that's why sap introduced this concept that updation will be at the last either it will commit all the things or will not commit anything because in real world the tables are interlinked with each other suppose your entry went to one table it commit in one table but nine tables there is no commit so it is a database inconsistency so what sap is saying okay and sap use this concept widely widely sap will execute the logic if everything is perfectly fine updating the database table logic sap will write in the update function module so it means if everything is fine update function module will trigger at the last it will update all the tables together and if there is a problem commit work will not execute so it means nothing will save to the database table so if someone asks you what is the purpose of update function module word itself is saying we will update everything together we will commit all the changes together or we will not commit anything or we will roll back everything yes so what is the summary of this particular video again extremely important understanding if initial concepts is clear yes you will understand more better because at the initial level i told yes this topic is tricky more conceptual detailed understanding is required so in this video firstly i showed you yes whenever you are running a program or whenever you are doing any work or task it will be assigned to the work process because ultimately whatever you are doing is handled by the work process because process will work on that particular work yes now i showed you in sm50 this program is assigned to the work process but sm13 there is no entry sm13 is specifically for update request update request now this function module did not trigger once the commit work execute then this function module will be assigned to the update work process this function module will be assigned to a special work process that is called as update work process and we are able to see in sm13 after that i discussed the purpose with you because this function module triggers at the last with the help of a special work process it means we can commit everything together we can roll back everything together and this is beneficial just think from the performance perspective how much effective it is you are not updating individual tables you are updating everything at the last so yes from the performance perspective also it is very very useful now in the next video i will cover update debugging and that is again again extremely important concept so that's it in this video thank you